A very warm welcome to this session on cesarean sections. My name is Marlene Temmerman. I'm an obstet a professor in obstetrics and gynecology and in public health at the Aga Khan University in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, the topic is cesarean section and more specifically optimizing the rates of cesarean sections because what we have seen in the last years is almost a doubling of the number of babies born via cesarean section in about 15 years. In 2000, we counted 16 million babies born via cesarean, and now, 15 years later, we are at almost 30 million, which is one baby in five in the whole world who is born via cesarean section, and this is very high. There are also huge discrepancies. There are about 44% of the babies born via CS in Latin America versus 4% in most of the, in, in Africa. So this huge difference also, differences between the rich and the poor women in any geography. Now, what is the problem? We know, and there is no ideal rate, but we know that if there is no access to cesarean section, or only very limited, that babies and women can die or have very serious complications of pregnancy because they cannot access the healthcare facilities they need where they can have access to cesarean section and to high-level obstetrical care. On the other hand, because the surgery is quite safe, we have in many parts of the world too many cesarean sections, mainly for non-medical reasons. The drivers of this increased rate are, number one, C-section is relatively safe. Um, it is very, very often reimbursed, the fee for the healthcare provider is higher with a cesarean section than a normal delivery. Number three, now increasingly also women and families, they are asking for cesarean section and women are saying, you know, I have the right to decide how I will deliver my baby and it's very hard to discuss women's rights, but we think that women should be well informed about the pros and the cons, the advantages and the disadvantages. Because with this increase of cesarean sections, we have not seen better outcomes for the mom, not for the babies. So we have to be very careful because cesarean section remains a major surgery, the most common major surgery in the world, actually. So what are the kind of the, 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 the dangers of too many cesarean sections? It is a surgery with potential complications, but also with a higher risk for the next pregnancy. Because once you have a scar, there is always a risk for placental infiltration and abnormalities. So your next pregnancy is at a higher risk and you have a higher risk to have a new cesarean section, which is not really a good health uh, benefit. Also for the baby, there is more and more evidence now that babies who are born mainly through elective cesarean section, that they have a higher risk in immunological disorders, asthma, diabetes, obesity. So more and more evidence is there that also for the sake of the baby, we have to make sure that we don't use this loosely. Many babies are also born preterm because we don't know exactly the gestational age, the gynecologist is not sure. So then they have an additional problem of prematurity. So what can we do about it? We know the drivers of the epidemic and what we need, there are interventions with proven benefit to reduce the high cesarean section rate. And some countries like Scandinavian countries, even Portugal, uh, China, have proved with good policies that you can reduce your cesarean section rates. Uh, for example, um, if there is a, a breach delivery, you can allow, in many cases, to have a trial of labor. You can, uh, there is also proof that uh, a companion during childbirth 
can reduce uh, anxiety and, and fear and so on and can reduce in better outcomes. So there are a number of interventions and mainly also educational interventions. Women have to be aware of the pros and cons and they have to be aware that there are alternatives. Many women fear pain, so you could um, uh, ad um, advise epidural anesthesia or pain killing during labor. So what we are doing now, we have published a number of papers in the Lancet showing what is happening in that area, showing what can be done to reduce cesarean section and using this as a call, launching it together with the obstetricians, gynecologists, with the midwives, with the women agencies, so to call upon everyone to try to, to optimize cesarean section rates. And every woman who needs it, who is in, in danger, every baby who is in danger should have access. On the other hand, we should not use it too often. I'm going to, um, to stop here, but this is actually my key messages. And those who want to know more about it can read the Lancet series that we published last year and that is actually supported by a new publication in the Lancet showing that women in Africa are 50 times at higher risk of dying from cesarean section than, for example, in the Western world. So a lot needs to be done investing in healthcare, investing in normal delivery with midwifery, and gynecologists, shared care, companions, labor, a lot of information, a lot of education, trying to offer cesarean section where needed, where only cesarean section will help us to do better than normal delivery.